I'm so excited to see these in person and the color. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at them. Okay, y'all, it's a new day. Oh my, <gasps> this is the best thing ever. What? Okay, y'all, it's a new day. It's a new unboxing, and today is another really exciting one. But this one is from Bergdorf, so let's get into it. Okay, so this is from Ron at Bergdorf, who I will tag here, who is a phenomenal Bergdorf essay who finds the most incredible deals and posts them to his stories all of the time, as well as he's just a phenomenal essay with such great customer service. So if you're looking for a essay at Bergdorf, look no further. Ron is your guy. And he found me an incredible deal. I nabbed them without even thinking. We'll have to try them on because I'm in a bit of a debate. I might end up, if I don't love them, putting them in my closet sale because, you know, sometimes you just have to like jump when there's crazy deals like that. And this is one of those times, so we'll have to see, I'll have to try them on. But we have another pair of Louboutins. I know, we're on a Louboutin pick right now, guys. I don't know what to say. When there's a sale, there's a sale. Jeez, trying to get this box out. Here we go. Let's flip it upside down there. And so I nap them. And without further ado, let's get into it. We have the awesome dust bag and I was so excited to see these in person and the color. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at them. These are so good. These are such good basics. Oh my gosh. I was really hoping not to love them, but they're such good basics, which is, of course is why I got them initially because I just knew that a tan pointed toe flat obviously is such a good basic to wear on an everyday basis, but I do have quite a few nude flats, which is the only reason I want to try them on and like really love them before I keep them just because I have a few flats already, right? A lot of Chanel now, like things that I would probably wear first. So let's try them on and get a full picture before we make any hasty judgments. They're so clean. <gasps> Look at the tip. That's cool. Okay, let's try them on. I did get them in a 38 and a half, which is my ideal flat Louboutin size. Oh no, they're so good, aren't they? <laughs> Oh dear, look how clean and easy are those. Oh dear, all right, let's look them out of the mirror. Ugh, I was desperately hoping not to love these so I could add something else to the sale. They're really classic, right? Let me show you the Chanel one. So these are my nude Chanel loafers, as you can see. And I'm such a loafer person. Like I wear loafers a ton. And so I just felt like I would probably wear those before these anyway. So maybe I would just include them in my sale so I would have another like solid deal for you guys. But oh, I don't know, are they different enough? Here are my other classic ones. And then I have other Chanel sandals in nude down there as well. And then these kind of qualify as nude a little bit. They're not fully nude. I mean, obviously it's a rounded toe and this is a pointed toe. And this is also a great example, by the way, of the difference between Louboutin light tan nude and Chanel's classic light tan nude. As you can see, this is much more of a neutral tone, almost more on the orange side. And this is much more of a cool toned. That's like true in general, like all the different shoes that the two brands do, that this is always more cool toned. Louboutin's light tan always ends up being that more cool toned color, which is ideal for my skin tone being so pink. As you can see, even though this is a really good neutral you can see compared to my skin tone how much the loafers actually look yellow which is a really interesting little fact if you are a nude snob like me and care about undertones they're so easy to put on and I do have a really good trick about the bottoms that I was planning on doing a video about anyways because I get a lot of questions from you guys about what I do with my Louboutin bottoms and like the different stages and I have a really good trick that I use when they are brand new before I put rubber soles on them so I was going to do a few pairs with you just to show you exactly what I do and these would be a perfect example of that. I kind of love them. Are they too similar in the sense of like 
realistically I'm not going to wear these when I have a Chanel option or does the lack of hardware mean I'm definitely going to wear them in like summer when maybe I don't have gold hardware or something. I was so set on maybe not keeping them. <laughs> I was not expecting to love these this much. I try not to do too many repeats, although usually if I do do a repeat, it is for things like this where it is a classic everyday type of shoe that I'll get a lot of wear out of. I'm looking around to see if I have any other <laughs> nude shoes that I forgot about. Oh, these are so good. Okay. Well, well, that is the unboxing today. So thank you so much again to Ron at Bergdorf, who I will tag here. He has a phenomenal essay at Bergdorf in New York who has crazy, crazy good stock. So if you need an essay at Bergdorf, go follow him. Watch his stories meticulously. He's not allowed to post like the prices of things on his stories. So you have to pay attention because he'll say like 70% off or whatever. And you kind of do the math and you can realize how good of a deal it is. I do know for a fact that he does not have any more of these and I told him I would tell you guys that so he wouldn't get overwhelmed with DMs. These are, are completely sold out but definitely still st stay tuned to his stories to see all the other deals that he has coming up because he is so good at hunting and finding them. So Ron, thank you so much again. Love you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, please like this video, subscribe, and click the bell so you're notified because I upload new unboxing videos every single day.